Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. And today's video is going to be a full review of my Classic Mini Cooper Sport. So let's get started. So this specific Cooper Sport is the 821st last produced. Now this isn't a Sport 500, uh, a lot of people think it is. Um, the way to tell by that is a plaque in the glove box and also you should get a certificate with the car as well to prove it's uh, a 500. So no, it's not a 500 but um, it uh, just looks basically the same. So the colour is solar red. Um, I think it really suits the, the Cooper Sports. Uh, now, if you can see, I know the camera will probably look orange on this, but the uh, it's a really nice finish. Um, uh, yeah, it's really nice. And now this is the, like I said, the Cooper Sport. Now the Sport includes the 13 inch wheels and the Sport Pack Archers, as well as the four um, spotlights at the front. Now this is, because this is one of the last ones, well, the 821st last one, um, they actually, the last few they actually made with the silver roof over the white roof so you got the silver platinum silver um, with the stripes and the door mirrors as well so it's just a nice little contrast now the cooper sport is powered by a 1.3 multi-point injection um, engine a series engine of course it's a mini um, which developed 63 brake horsepower so let's have a quick look at that now so I pop that. it's quite a loud uh, when you pop the hood it's quite loud but Bonnet, sorry, sorry, bonnet. Hood for your American viewers. Um, all that from it up. There we go. Now this engine gets incredibly hot um, when you've just driven it, so that is pretty warm. Um, so, like I said, 1.3. This is a multi-point injection car. Now they made the, obviously the originals were carburetor. They brought single point out in 1995, um, up until I think it was end of 96 and I think the 97 onwards, I might be wrong on that actually, the 97 onwards was multi-point injection. Um, supposedly there was more reliable, a lot more reliable the multi-point injections. Now looking at it, it's not the nicest looking because of the injection system. Um, the ones with the carburetors, it's, you can sort of feel like a bit nicer to be fair but you know it's okay. Um, this has got the k and filter in it in the original housing which uh, Supposedly that lets the engine breathe a little better. Um, now this car actually got an ECU, amazingly. So back in 2000, um, or when they brought the injection wells out, they uh, fitted an ECU to car. So the car does actually have a brain. Uh, amazing. Now right, let's shut this up. Let's jump in. Let's go for a drive. Whoa. So the first thing you notice um, when you get in a classic unit is the driving position. Um, so the wheel is sort of raised up, um, slightly offset to the left. The pedals are also offset to the left slightly, and the seating position is obviously yeah, it's all sort of mixed up a little bit. Um, but you soon get used to that. You just you know, and then the, the fun things I can just touch that side of the car is that small. Um, you know, I'm like, yeah, I can just, yeah, it's, it's so small in here. Um, and it's 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 a really it's actually a really nice place to be. It's a little bit warm today, so obviously the window unfortunately have, will have to be down. Um, so I'm not sure what the quality is. should be okay though with the microphone on. Um, but uh, but the camera on the outside recording as well. So yeah, let's go for a drive, and I'll tell you what it's like. So on the um, the later ones, you get an immobilizer. So just a little fob. And click the button, demobilize it, and foot on the clutch. Start up straight away. Um, it's got a different exhaust on, but I'm not quite sure what. I think it's sort of custom made exhaust. So, um, but yeah, it sounds pretty. Sounds pretty futile. Um, so it's good. Um, so yeah, let's get started. Um, the gearbox as well. It's not the slickest gearbox, so you've got to be very precise with it. So first, second, but then over to third, you sort of have to push it over to the right and up. It 
it's not just sort of a casual push up to the right. You've got to make sure you, you, you just push it and up, you know, you sort of take a take very advantage in, in modern cars where you just sort of you're going through the gears and this you've got to be a bit more steady uh, and reverse sort of lift the gear but gears up to the right and down. So um, yeah, it gets a bit of getting used to but uh, you should get used to it. Um, so let's get started then. So again, yeah, no power steering so these Zen and headlights, it had ABS, it had power steering, it had, you know, a look, it was a luxury uh, hatchback, but um, and this, this was actually made after <laughs> the Lupo, and yeah, it's still, um, it still retained the classic feel, and, and which is great, you know, uh, even the horn is, it's funny, um, so yeah, it's, it's just great, absolutely love it, it's, it's always fun to drive. bad um, but, uh, but yeah, you've just obviously got to be careful and, and think ahead when you when you come to um, braking and things like that but, um, but yeah it's just so much fun it really is and the attention it attracts is crazy it's crazy you know it's like being in a Lamborghini Now, 
quite a while now. The, the oil pressure gauge, the oil, sorry, not the pressure, the oil temperature is um, is not really reading anything at the minute. Uh, like I said, I've been driving, the oil will be warm, it's just the gauge not going to suck you. So it will eventually read something, whether it's correct or not, I don't know. Um, the clock again, it's saying 20 to 9 when actually it's 5 to 11. So, but it's all these little things that just, just it doesn't matter, you know, it's just, it just makes, it's just funny. So so funny uh, to just even just driving through town and it's just so much fun. It really is. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's just great. Visibility is another thing as well. Just it's just like being sat in a greenhouse. It's so much glass. So there you have it then, a full review of my classic Mini. Drop me any comments below, any more questions about the car. Um, but yeah, there you go. So just stopped in this absolutely gorgeous setting. Um, very close to near where I live. Uh, but yeah, there we go. So um, that has been the review. So I'm going to just carry on, drive a little bit longer, and then uh, we'll head back home. But yeah. Loving this weather, but loving the Classic Mini. As ever, guys, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for very, plenty more videos to come very soon. Cheers.